everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, first off, I apologize for the current video setup um, as I don't have my capture device set up with this monitor or video card. But today, I'm going to show you how to install and configure a Radeon graphics card in a dual or quad core um, Power Mac G5. I'll be demonstrating on a 2.5 gigahertz quad core, but the exact same instructions work if you have a 2.0 or 2.3 gigahertz dual core system. As you can see, uh, this system is currently running from the NVIDIA GeForce 6600. And you might be thinking, why would I want to install a Radeon graphics card? Well, if you're running a Linux distribution like Phoenix, Radeon graphics drivers work much better compared to the NVIDIA Nuveu drivers. They aren't perfect, but they are a pretty huge improvement. If you have the stock NVIDIA card, um, you can do most 2D desktop tasks relatively well. Um, you can watch videos. That even includes um, YouTube videos, as you can see right here. Um, you just have to have your browser um, configured correctly. But more intensive OpenGL functions may not work well, and many games won't run at all. So I'm going to exit out of this here, and I'll show you an example of what you might see if you try to run a OpenGL um, game using the stock NVIDIA card. As you can see, this is not how the game should be rendering. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of that here. Some games just won't run at all. Um, in other games, you'll just get a black window. So first we're going to install the physical card. I have a me Radeon HD 6450 right here that I'll be installing, but you can install anything up to and including the Northern Islands cards. Um, another example is here, um, is a Radeon HD 4550. This also works fine. You can even install the larger um, cards that take up two of your PCIe slots. And in upcoming videos, I'll be testing and benchmarking several cards. So if you're interested in seeing how different cards compare um, on PowerPC systems running Linux, make sure to subscribe. All right, let's get the system opened up. So I'm just going to go ahead and shut this down for right now. So here is the Power Mac G5. To get started, we release the lever to remove the outer panel, and then remove the air deflector. Here you can see the factory NVIDIA GeForce 6600. The slot above that is a four-lane PCIe slot. The slot above that is an eight-lane uh, PCIe slot. So this is where we want to install our Radeon card. I'm going to leave the NVIDIA GeForce 6600 card 
because in my experience, removing it can cause some system stability issues. There are also extra steps that you have to take with your bootloader if you remove that card. So we will take our Radeon graphics card and install it into this 8x slot. I've already removed this screw and the slot cover, so this card is ready just to slide right in. All right, so I have went ahead and installed that card. I had to pause the video to be able to get in there, but you can see where it's installed here in that 8x slot. If you're using a card that needs additional power, um, the Power Mac G5 does have power output um, pins behind uh, this fan here. Uh, in the back um, on the logic board. And so now we go ahead and put this back together. And I'll hook the cords back up. All right, so I've hooked everything back up and booted the system up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in here. So we've installed the Radeon card physically, and now we just need to go through a couple um, steps to configure it to work properly. I'm going to go to Menu and System Tools to open up a terminal. Here I'm going to enter SU space hyphen I don't know how many times I have gotten word of issues because people leave this hyphen off. This has always been the appropriate way to activate root privileges. Make sure you're including space hyphen. So the first thing that we're going to do is enter nano slash etc slash modprobe dot d slash nuveo enter here we are going to enter blacklist nuveo control x y to save enter next enter nano etc slash modprobe.d slash nuveu.conf enter here we're going to enter install nuveu slash bin slash true Control X, Y to save, enter. And now we enter update hyphen I N I T R A M F S, which stands for initial RAM file system hyphen U, enter. And this will go through and update that initial RAM file system. It is okay if you get messages about possible missing firmware. Not a big deal. Give that a second to complete. All right, so now we're going to enter nano slash etc slash capital X11 slash x org dot conf dot d slash 10 hyphen radion dot c o n f here we enter section space quote device identifier device one 
driver radian end section is one word control x y to save enter now we want to make sure that we have installed firmware amd graphics i have that installed but um, you may not so we want to make sure that we have that installed there at this point we can reboot all right i've went ahead and zoomed in a little bit closer so you can see what's going on here when your system restarts you're going to want to make sure you're paying attention um, on the monitor connecting to your NVIDIA graphics card because as soon as you see a Yaboot prompt, which is this right here, you want to press capital L for Linux and then Radian dot mode set equals one Nuveu dot mode set equals zero. Video equals OFFB colon off. Video equals Nuveu FB colon off. No mode set as one word and then press enter. So once we verify that this command works and um, our Radian card is working correctly, we can enter a command that makes that happen automatically. And so we see that NVIDIA card finished loading here and then handed off control to our Radian card. This is the monitor attached to the Radian card. And I have my capture device hooked up to this, so let's switch over to the capture device. Well, unfortunately, my capture device has decided it's not going to work anymore. So I'm just using record my desktop. First, I'll open a terminal window and show GLX info about OpenGL. Here you can see driver information. Um, you can see the Radian card is listed and some OpenGL information. I'll also open system monitor and you can see there that it lists AMD graphics. Finally, I'm going to open the game that the NVIDIA card was not able to render very well with the Nuveo driver, Extreme Tux Racer, and you'll see that the Radian card does a much better job um, with rendering this game uh, on Linux. In the future, I'll be making uh, another video that shows some 3D applications and games uh, using the Radian card. And then, um, as I spoke about a little bit before, I'll also be doing a benchmarking video with some different Radian cards so we can compare the performance. Hopefully that's of interest to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you. And thanks for watching.